Hi, I'm Tom Finn, leadership consultant and co-creator of Lifeline, an approach for developing resilience in leaders. Do you remember Steven Slater, the JetBlue flight attendant who decided he'd had it up to here with a customer? He activated the plane's escape chute, grabbed a beer, and slid down the slide to, what, freedom? No, actually into the waiting arms of law enforcement. Now, maybe Steven's solution wasn't too wise, but did you ever feel like pulling a Steven Slater? Maybe not pulling the chute, but somehow leaving behind the pressure of today's workplace. We know his solution was a bad one, but maybe Steven was the proverbial canary in the coal mine, warning organizations that are on overdrive about pressured employees and leaders who are ready to pull the escape chutes on your mission-critical projects. What might Steven be telling us about today's workplace? We think that slide down the emergency chute is an indicator, an indicator that the workplace has reached the breaking point. We don't think many of you will dispute the fact that workload in the workplace have become overwhelming. But the surprise to us is we don't see many organizations addressing pressure. We don't see a lot of people looking at workplace frenzy and its impact on business, whether it's in the private sector, government, or healthcare institutions. Why not? With so many people and sectors inundated by faster deadlines, greater competition, too many to-dos, and lack of sleep, why aren't our organizations responding? We think one reason is because companies and agencies don't realize what the costs of pressure really are. So, let's prove that the workplace has reached the breaking point. Here's what our research has shown. Our customers are experiencing the following. Lost sales, a CEO who couldn't follow up with potential customers because he was so overloaded with daily tasks. Fewer creative ideas. Executives who get paid to think tell us they don't have time to stop and think. Because people are so buried, there's less time to develop the ideas that can differentiate your business. Fewer product and service offerings. Human and business resources are too compromised elsewhere to come together to work on new product lines or a proposal for future work. Or how about this? Compromise volunteering. Have you seen it? You're in a meeting and someone asks for a volunteer for a task or project and nobody raises their hand. They're too swamped to dare take on anything else. Lost sales, ideas, products, and opportunities. There you have four costs of pressure that cut to the very lifeblood of a business or agency. When you have costs like that, we maintain the workplace has reached the breaking point. Is your company, agency, or health institution doing anything to equip its people to deal with unprecedented levels of pressure? We're guessing the answer to that is no. So job one is to get people's attention that workplace overload is costing big time by citing the kinds of costs I've just noted. Then, of course, you'll be wanting some solutions, won't you? Demanding, aren't we? We think we have some solutions, and our customers seem to be pleased. They don't have the option to pull the emergency chute and slide away. Lifeline is a consulting approach to teach leaders how they react now to pressure and to expand their capacity to deal with it. So come to our website and you'll find greater detail on what we propose to do. You'll also see future video and written blogs. We'll feature examples and the Lifeline point of view on the many ways pressure is rearing its head in the workplace. For all of you who can't pull a Stephen Slater but want some options for handling workplace frenzy, email us or call us and we'll be happy to have an exchange with you on this under-addressed issue of pressure in the workplace.